When visitors come to the popular Hunter Springs Park in Crystal River, they may notice the lush plant life along the shoreline. But they may not realize the benefits this new living shoreline provides the ecosystem. This is valuable habitat and is an important piece of what a living shoreline is all about. Last year, the district partnered with the city of Crystal River to complete the Hunter Springs Park living shoreline. The district funded the construction of the project because of its many benefits. One of the benefits of living shorelines is habitat. Um, one of the very critical areas for any coastal habitat is these low salinity tidal habitats, which Kings Bay is. And so we want to take advantage of any opportunity to create habitat in order to provide for a lot of the species that are both ecologically and economically important to this region. Other benefits include bank stabilization, improving water quality by reducing erosion and preventing stormwater pollutants from entering Kings Bay. The living shoreline uses a combination of rock and various types of plants. So this is lance leaf arrowhead. What you'll see under the water are grasses like eelgrass or vallisneria. This is a common grass that's found in these spring systems and it's a really important part of the uh, ecology of our spring systems throughout Florida. When you go up into the emergent areas, you'll see things like sawgrass, you'll also see cord grass, and a whole host of other types of grasses. This is needle rush. District staff hope the project will inspire residents to install living shorelines on their own properties. One of the highlights of this project is that the park itself is heavily visited, especially in the summer months, and so we wanted to take advantage of that exposure in order to showcase the different types of living shorelines and their benefits. Living shorelines have been successful in salt marshes across the country, including Tampa and Sarasota Bays. But this is the district's first living shoreline in a spring-fed system. This gives us a really good opportunity to help improve the habitat of the shorelines that are intimately connected with the water and ultimately the springs themselves. <music>